Okay, so I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to do the character nameplate necklaces. So first you're gonna want to find a font for the name you're gonna use. So we're gonna use the app Fonto. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up the app Fonto, you're gonna tap on the screen, and then you're gonna click on plain images. You're gonna choose the white background then you're going to click on the share button in the top right hand corner and then you're going to choose use okay so i then you click on the white image and you're going to click on add text so for this video i'm just going to use my name autumn and then i'm going to find a font i'm just going to go to my favorite fonts and then i'll just use let's see We'll do Dolly script. We're gonna hit done. And then we're gonna go to style. We're gonna go to color, which is already picked for you. And we're just gonna choose black. <clears throat> so then you're gonna click done. And then you're gonna hit save, which in the bot is in the bottom right hand corner click that and then you're gonna do save image and then this ad will pop up but that's okay after the ad you're gonna go back to the canvas okay you're gonna click on the name again, you're gonna hit style, and then you're gonna click on stroke. And then I always use red just to see how thick it looks. And then down here at the bottom where it says width, you can choose how thick you want your offset or shadow or stroke to be. I usually do like 12 or 11. So we'll do 11. And then we're gonna go and hit done. And then you're gonna hit the share button again to save it, bottom right hand corner. And then you're gonna hit save image. And hit okay. Now, I'm going to use um, a frozen image. So I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna type in Frozen. Clip art. Hit images. And I'm going to use. Let's see. Let's see if I can find. I'm going to choose this image right here. So I'm going to long press it and I'm going to hit download image. And then I'm going to go to background remover. So I'm going to click or type in remove BG. And then I'm going to go to the website. And I'm going to upload my image. So I'm going to go to my photo library. I'm going to get my image. And I'm going to choose that. And it will remove the background for me. So then I'm going to long press. And I'm going to hit save image. Then I'm going to go to my app Ibis Paint. So I can make my offset for my image. So once you're in Ibis Paint, you're gonna to go to my gallery, and then you already used the image before, but we're gonna to go to my gallery. We're gonna hit the plus button in the bottom left hand corner, and then we're gonna hit import image at the top. And then we're going to get that image. You're gonna hit cancel if this pops up. And you're going to go down to the bottom where you see the little brush icon. And then you're going to click on FX filter. 
and then you're going to click on the filter that says stroke outer click on that and then you can adjust the size of your offset or shadow for your image so we're just going to do it like that and then we're going to hit the green plus and then we're going to save so we're going to hit the x and then we're going to hit this back arrow at the bottom and then we're going to click on save as transparent png and it's saved now we're going to go to our Cricut design space We're going to hit new project. We're going to hit upload. Select from photo library. We're going to choose our name that we did earlier. And we're just going to remove background. Clean up the image. And then we're we'll hit next. Preview your. Oh, I forgot a spot right here at the top. For some reason, I didn't remove it. Let's see. Oh, oh well. We'll hit next. We'll hit cut image. And we'll, I'll just use a period. Make sure you choose cut image because we're going to be cutting this out. Then you're going to hit done. Then we're going to close that. We're going to upload our shadow right here it's just one step just remove the background that's it you just need the shadow for your plate hit next make sure you choose cut file and then you save it and then now we're going to upload our image this is our shadow so everything is the backgrounds already clear so all we have to do is hit next next you're gonna save this one as a cut file and then we're gonna upload our image which is this one the backgrounds are already gone all you have to do is hit next Oops, let's see. Okay, hit next, and then we're gonna save this one as a print and cut image because we're gonna be printing this image off with our printer. Next. Okay, now we're going to select all of our images. So we have our name, we have our name offset, we have our image, and we have our image offset. So then we're going to hit insert. Okay, so we got our image, our image offset, our name, and our name offset. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, I'm working from my phone, so bear with me. So what we're going to do here is, we're going to do edit. This is the basic cut, and we're going to make this a silver plate. So we'll just use the gray. And then we want to size. We want to size our image to our offset. So we'll hit both of those. And then we'll do, let's see, action. And we'll do, let's see. Okay, maybe it's not action. Let's see, maybe it's is it edit. Okay, and then we'll do align center, so it'll center everything. Okay, now we're going to get our name and our shadow. So we're gonna make the shadow the gray color. So let's see, I'm gonna go to edit, and then we'll choose the silver color. And then our name, we'll do that blue, this is frozen. So I'll make that blue. So let's size these pieces. 
I gotta send this to the front. So arrange, move to front. And then we'll just size it to the shadow. Okay, that looks good to me. So now we'll select this. Let's see, we want to make this a little smaller. We don't want it that big. Just figure out what looks good, and I think that looks pretty good. So then, now what I'll do is I'll move the name out the way, I'll move the picture out the way, I'll select both of these, and then I will weld that together. Then I will go to my shapes. And I'll make my circle. Let's see, we'll do two of those. And then we'll slip both of those, and then we will, let's see, edit. Align, we'll do center. And then we will slice. Slice. Of that oops how about go back undo get rid of this one and then we'll make this silver like the plate Let's see. Let's zoom in Let's see let me get my image so I can see let's move this to the front. select both of those and then we will let's see go to actions and then we'll weld let's send this to the front okay all right and then we'll take our name we'll send that to the front and this is just to see how it will look. Okay. And I think I like how that looks right there. So then once you get it how, exactly how you want it to look. You're only going to need one of these. This we're going to duplicate. So let's go to actions and then we will duplicate. So we'll duplicate once. This is going to be my glitter cardstock. This is going to be my layered pieces in between. So we're going to do duplicate this five times. One, two, three, four, five. I always make my layers the color black. I just love how it looks. It just looks good to me when it's black. So we'll do black, apply five times for the layers, and then we need one of the glitter to go on top. And then right here, we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to flip it. So we're going to, let's see, edit. We're going to flip horizontally. Okay, because we're gonna have our front piece and we're gonna have our back piece of our nameplate, okay? So then we're going to make the layers for the um, plate. So we're going to duplicate 
So we're gonna duplicate one, two, three, four. I only use four of these. And then we're gonna make those black as well. Okay, so now we have our front piece of our nameplate, the back piece to our nameplate. We have our four layered pieces of our nameplate. We have our top cardstock color, whether it's vinyl or it's glitter cardstock. We have that, and then we have the five layers for the name. And then once you got that, all you do is cut it out. You cut it and you glue all your pieces together. Um, I'm trying to see if I'm forgetting anything. Um, uh, I think that's it, honestly. Usually for the plate, I use a uh, either foil paper or I'll use just like the uh, gold or metallic looking cardstock for the plate. And then just regular cardstock for the layers. And then the glitter cardstock or I'll use vinyl for the top color for the, um, uh, for the name. And that's about it you guys. Um, and then like I said you can size your name plate. You can size your necklace to whatever size you think. I usually do, my name plates are usually three inches wide. And they're usually, I think I'll do 1.288 in height. Yeah, that's usually what I do for just the name. Now with the necklace, I usually do three wide by about two and a half inches tall don't quote me on that but that's usually what I do but you can make it whatever size you want I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you guys how to do the shadows or the offsets or whatever you want to call them for your images and your um, actual name so let me know if that helps any let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.